So guys, I'm going to take you through the leg press machine. Basically, what I'm doing here is, first of all, going from the top, I've got a nice neutral spine, my core is tight, my belly button's tucked into the seat. And then having my feet in a good position, you'll have to change the position to suit your, your legs and your body posture. I've got the seat in a position again. It takes a bit of testing to get this one right. Uh, on this machine, there's a, there's a brake to turn it off and on. So I've turned the brake off, I'm grabbing the handles, my shoulders are rolling back, my core's tight, head's neutral, and I'm coming down nice and steady, all the way up, all the way down. So that's what the movement wants to look like, okay? There's a lot of things going wrong with this. You might have seen some of the horrible videos on the internet where people push on the knees, extend the knees, and you have some injuries here. Firstly, that's very, there's a very slim chance that's gonna happen, first of all, because it's probably caused by a genetic condition with the uh, tendons. That's probably not gonna happen. But first of all, don't be pushing on the knees just in case that's gonna happen to you. So keep your hands well away from your knees. Second thing is don't lock the legs out in this movement at all. So we don't wanna be going into full extension. Don't ever do that. Keep your legs slightly bent, just an inch off the top. That's all. So there's the first two things to make sure that you're doing right. Second thing is, I see a lot of people putting loads and loads and loads of weight on. It looks cool, but it's not gonna stimulate or build as much muscle as getting full range of motion, okay? So what we wanna be doing is have a nice range of motion, not stopping here and doing little um, leg pumps. That's not gonna build as much muscle as full range of motion, as I just said. So we wanna be coming as much as possible, all the way down, all the way up. But at the same time, I want to be coming as much as possible without our bum lifting up. So this isn't good for the spine, it's quite dangerous in fact. So we want to be making sure we're coming down. The way to make this happen and make, make it safe, to make sure our core's nice and tight when we get to this position. If we let a core go, it'll lift, okay? So core tight, back pushed into the bench, you can, you can hand onto the handles, shoulders back and down to make sure this position can be held. So another thing I'm doing is, I'm making sure my knees are coming slightly out. I'm using my glutes to do this. I've also got my feet gripping onto the, onto the plate. I'm using my feet as um, uh, the muscles in the bottom of my feet to grip. So I'm not allowing my ankles to turn in. So I'm using the muscles in my feet to turn my ankles out and I'm screwing my feet into the, into the leg press machine. So that is the leg press. There's loads of variations of ways of doing this. You can change your feet into different positions. But today I've just gone through this position, okay? When you're finished, put the lock on, allow the weight to come down nice and slowly, and lift yourself off. So if you need any help with anything else in the gym, feel free to shoot us a message or ask one of the personal trainers, they'll be happy to help.